I stand on the shoulders of my parents, grandparents, and great-grandparents, recognizing that in a lot of ways, I'm fighting the same fights that they did. And I stand here to ensure that, ensure that my children and yours don't have to fight those same fights. And Virginia Congresswoman Jennifer McClellan there in her very first speech on the United States House floor after a special election in Virginia's 4th District. McClellan is now the newest member of Congress. And she joins us now on Capper Review. Congresswoman, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So you stepped into Congress in the shoes of the late Donald McEachin. You've called him a friend, a mentor, and colleague. Tell us more about the impact McEachin had on you, and how do you want to move his legacy forward? Well, we met when I was a freshman in college. He was uh, a mentor to um, Cigna scholars. I had a Cigna scholarship. Uh, then we were elected to the House of Delegates together. I succeeded him in the Senate. We partnered on a wide variety of things, and um, he was a personal friend. So it, it was a tough loss, uh, but I feel like I can carry on his legacy in a way that will make him proud, and I feel him with me every day. So you've been in Congress now less than two weeks. Your constituents in the 4th District, what are you hearing from them? What are they asking of you? Well, a lot of the same things they asked in my 18 years in the in the General Assembly. Um, they're asking for access to affordable health care, um, jobs that pay well, uh, affordable housing, safe and healthy communities. Uh, they're concerned about uh, their right to vote and uh, their civil rights uh, being maintained. And, and so the same work I did in the state level on all of that, I'm going to do in Congress. And you're serving on the Armed Services Committee and also the Committee on Science, Space, and Technology. And how will you approach those roles in a divided Congress? Well, as you know, uh, the Armed Services is very important to Virginia. We have a number of um, military facilities uh, and the shipyard. Um, right, I grew up right in the backyard of Fort Lee. And so uh, representing those interests in Congress with uh, science and technology. Um, right now, uh, space exploration is, is very important. We look have oversight over the, the FAA, the, um, the National Weather Service. Uh, so new issues, but issues that I'm very excited to delve into. And you've made headlines as the first black woman to represent Virginia in Congress. Congratulations on that achievement, Congresswoman. And a few words, can you tell us about what this means to you? Well, it blows my mind that we're having first. Uh, it is a tremendous honor, but it's also a tremendous responsibility to ensure I'm not the last. And last question for you. President Biden has not yet announced whether or not he's running for re-election. Do you think he should run in 2024? Well, I'll say he's had one of the most consequential presidencies in my lifetime um, with the last Congress and the amount of things he's been able to get done to turn things around from the IRA um, uh, the, in, uh, and the infrastructure bill. Um, if President Biden runs, I will support him.